He is known for being a German professor of Hebrew and astronomy who gained fame in the 20th century. He is recognized for his groundbreaking design of the first direct entry calculating machine in the 17th century. His name is Wilhelm Schickert. In the realm of scientific inventions, there are names that stand out for their profound impact. One such legendary figure is Wilhelm Schickert, a German professor of Hebrew and astronomy. While he may not be as well known as some other inventors, his contributions to the world of calculating machines cannot be overstated. In the early 17th century, Schickert designed a remarkable calculating machine that integrated an ingenious system of rotated Napier's rods for multiplication. This machine also included a first-of-its-kind design for an adding machine, operated by rotating knobs for input, and with a register of rotated numbers showing in windows for output. Schickert's invention was a significant milestone in the development of mechanical calculators. Although there is debate about the true impact of Schickert's work on the subsequent development of calculators, it is undeniable that his groundbreaking combination of Napier's rods and an adding machine paved the way for future inventions. Later devices, such as Moreland's multiplying and adding instruments, Caspar Schott's Sistula, René Grillet's machine arithmetique, and Claude Perrault's Rhabdologique, followed the path first pioneered by Schickert. Today, Wilhelm Schickert is often hailed as the father of the computer age, recognizing his crucial role in the early advancements of calculating machines. His designs laid the foundation for the sophisticated computing systems we rely on today, and his legacy continues to inspire scientists and inventors in their pursuit of innovation. In the early 17th century, Wilhelm Schickert, a German mathematician and astronomer, made a groundbreaking invention that would revolutionize the world of calculations. In his letters to Kepler in 1623 and 1624, Schickert revealed his creation, which he called an arithmeticum organum, later known as a rechanner or calculating clock. Schickert's invention aimed to assist in the four basic arithmetic functions and simplify the laborious task of calculating astronomical tables. With the ability to add and subtract six-digit numbers, the machine even had a bell that would ring to indicate an overflow of this capacity. It also featured an adding machine with rotatable Napier's bones, designed to aid in the complex calculations involving multi-digit numbers. Excited about his invention, Schickard commissioned clockmaker Johann Pfister to build a finished machine. However, tragedy struck when a fire destroyed the machine before its completion or delivery. Devastated by this setback, Schickard eventually abandoned the project. Unfortunately, Schickard's life took another tragic turn during the Thirty Years' War in 1635. Along with his entire family, he fell victim to the bubonic plague, leaving behind a legacy cut short. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.